in order to make sure that the plant operation is going as expected, we need to get the information we need. This is done by placing the required instrumentation in the correct locations so that we can measure the parameters we need. This can be done either through field instruments, such as pressure or temperature gauges, for example, or it can be done through instruments sending indications to DCS. This means that the operator can read them from the control room. And if there is a parameter that is having an extreme value, higher or lower than the allowable value, then we shall send an alarm to the operator in the control room. If we are more concerned with on-spec or off-spec products, where we need to carry out tests in the laboratory, then we shall need to add sampling connections so that some fluid can be extracted through bottles to the laboratory in order to be further analyzed. Now, let's examine each one from these in detail. In a P and ID, we show instruments. Instruments are used to read process parameters. So, through a flow element, we can read flow in a pipe. This reading may not just be in the field, but we can also send this reading to the control room to be read by the operator as we highlighted in the previous video. We can also add a flow totalizer so that it can read the cumulative fluid quantity that passed within a time span. And we can use the reading to calculate a miscellaneous value. Maybe it's a unit conversion from mass flow to a volumetric flow rate or some summation of multiple flows or whatever the function we need. It can be any type of parameter that needs to be monitored by the operators depending on the process itself. So through instruments, we can also monitor the pressure, whether this is from the field based on a pressure gauge reading or to send the reading to the DCS to be read from the control room with an alarm so that when the pressure goes too high or too low or even use it as a control parameter to set pressure to a predetermined value. We can also use a differential pressure gauge, which can be used to measure the difference between the pressures at two points. They are commonly used to measure the pressure drop across a certain component, whether it's equipment or instrument, or even a fitting such as the strainers of a pump. And we can also send the differential pressure reading to the control room and configure a high or a very high alarm, or even to take the shutdown action. Same thing can be the case for temperature, so we can monitor the temperature from the field, we can send the reading to the control room or to control the temperature and adjust control valve based on the reading of a temperature transmitter. We can also send the signal to the shutdown system, take some action and protect the system from a very high or a very low temperature which can cause safety or operational issues in the plant. We can also monitor the level in a vessel or in a tank or send the level reading to the control room, same as all other parameters, or use them in a control action or a shutdown action based on a very high or very low level value.